Hey, Vizanta here, and this is going to be a guide to unlocking the Hydro Cryo Dungeon, the Peak of Vin. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but we're going to go from the beginning to end to unlock it. I have the video here with my bots, so we're going to start off here. If you have 1.2, right, which you probably should, if you continue the story, you will do the Albedo quest. It will bring you to this camp right off the bat, super early in the beginning. Iris is the NPC you want to talk to. It will give you the quest into the mountains. Uh, I, don't, I think we can skip this part here. Right, yeah. So, after you get, accept the quest, this is the, this is the mini-map, right? In relative to where Iris was, you want to make your way down here to this waypoint. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out on that, on that part. And then from this waypoint, you will notice a crystal. A long skinny crystal in the middle of like some kind of meteor crash site. And in order to break that ice in the middle, you need to break these scarlet quartz, right? And then pick it up. And then you get the buff, which you can now see you can attack it for one hit per quartz. And the second one is right there. You just go get that one. Break that too. You can use a claymore. Uh, I think you can use a sword as well. You can use geo, like what I'm doing. The other one is behind it. I went the long way. Um, when you get close to it, it's going to spawn ice slime, so just be careful. But I totally just ignored it. All right. Go attack that. And the next one, um, I'm going to show you from this angle over here, right? So that's the crystal in the middle, right? The crystal that you want is up here. You can just go from, just fly across, or, you know, just climb from where you were at, just climb up. And as a bonus, uh, as a bonus, let me see if I can go back to the mini map. Uh, right below this, there is a statue of seven. So make your way to that. Right, make your way to that statue of seven. And in order to break that statue of seven, you need your quartz again. So that's the statue of seven to the right. The quartz is right there. Just go and grab it. Bring it back and you'll melt that sucker. You're going to need it. You're going to need it later. So just pick it up right now since you're close by. All right. So now after that, you're going to have to go back to Iris. Uh, we're going to skip this part because I totally did the wrong order here. All right. So we can go back to Iris. Talk the option, the quest option, etc. And then she's going to tell you, oh, you need to entomb city outskirts and whatnot. So that's let's pause right here. So you want the Star Glow Cavern, there's one right there. And then other ones under the Worm Rest Valley in this area right here. So we're gonna teleport to the domain right here in Minion Village and then just climb our way up to this waypoint right here. We can start off with that. Let it load, and then uh, hopefully I'll speed this up from, from where I'm at. I think I just straight up just start climbing. I just went right, and I just start climbing. Get to that first waypoint. Just to unlock it, you get warm from waypoints. There are some mobs here. Get rid of them. Easy peasy. Waypoint's right there. And then from the same waypoint that I just a different angle, came back later. Uh, make your way through to the other waypoint. All right, now from this waypoint, you're gonna turn around. You're gonna go straight down. Follow the ceiling that you see. It's gonna lead you to the way. Keep going. Get rid of those mobs. And then if you look down, you will see that crystal right there. Right there. Uh, let's go back. So you make sure you see it. 
See the crystal right there? Yeah, that's where it is. So you just drop down. Um, you, you encounter this rock. You see the crystal is right above us, right there. But of course, unfortunately, there is a shield. You can't get there. So there is a time trial in the middle. You have to beat it to unlock the shield. If you need help with it, just come by my Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv, Devinsante, let, when I'm live, you can ask me or any of the viewers. They'll probably be down to help. You can also check out the Discord. Um, if someone's available, they'll help. But for sure, if you need help, you come by the stream and I will help you. So it, it will spawn like three ice archers on one side with dropping icicles every once in a while. And then after you kill that group, it will spawn three more uh, ice archers. And after that, you fight three abyss mages, ice abyss mages. Um, I forgot to show you here, but um, yeah, I'm just going to straight up show you where the first Sealy is. Usually you know, where the Sealy is is where the cores are mostly at. So you might as well just get to the Sealy. That's a bonus. You get the treasure. So there's two cores right there. And then we're going to go to where the other cores are at. From here, you will go to the back. Yeah, be careful of that. <laughs> go to the back. Turn right, go up. There will be a Sealy here as well, and of course, right there. I'm gonna skip this part right here. Um, So that you bring the Sealy back. Now from this Sealy statue, um, go back to the back. Right, this is where the Sealy is. Go back to the back. You see those rocks in the back? Destroy it with a Claymore or a uh, Geo. Or you can now hit a Spear to Sword Tick forever. But there's the Quartz. There's the Sealy. You can go turn that in as well. So those are the three Quartz. Now, now you want to go to the Tomb City outskirts. So the order of my VODs are all messed up. So um, I'm going to go from here. So if, if we can go back to this map right here, right? After you unlock this, there's a waypoint right here in the middle. Make your way to that one. If you just store, you'll hit it eventually. It's near... Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but we're going to start from that waypoint and make our way up to this waypoint right here. Just to make things easier and you might as well unlock waypoints along the way. You can skip this if you want to, if you already have it, or you can just want to go straight into it. But I'm just going to show you from there just to make it easy, relatively easier to make a reference. But yeah, I'm just making my way up. There's mobs along the way. Just fast forwarding the path for you. I'm fighting mobs. There's chests as well. And there is, I believe there is a, a time challenge as well. After you get that. Right there, there's a time challenge. You might as well just do it anyways. So I swim across. I get that waypoint. Now from this waypoint, you're going to go south. You're going to go south. See towards that direction? You see my mini map? Go south towards the bottom waypoint, which is the Warm Rest Valley area. I'll let this play out here. All right, so you get here, you get to the waypoint. And at this point, you notice there's a puzzle in the freaking middle of this ice lake. So make your way to it, and then activate that switch. Right there, you see where the Sealy is in the middle right here? Get over there. Activate the switch. The Sealy will go in an order of which you need to activate the ice pillars. So after it's done um, describing the pattern, um, you, you just need to memorize it or just, just wait, and then I'll just show you. Just do it based on what I got. But make sure you activate the switch and then just wait for it. 
All right. So we go to this one right here first. Activate your ice skill. You use Kaya or whatever ice character. But be careful. There is a battle after this. You're going to see those rune guards and the rune grader. You're going to fight those. So um, two rune guards first and then the rune grader afterwards. There also is the chest. I think once you open the chest, it activates the battle. So I guess you can change in between. I think I'm going to speed forward this. Join my battle. <laughs> no, just two rune guards. My 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 albedo not even like leveled up. My child only like level fifty. Oh yeah, and be careful of the torches. There are torches on the outer area, and but they do rotate out and rotate in. So just be on the lookout if you need any specific heat source against a sheer code. Like right here, I'm like looking for one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It changed from where I remembered. Yeah, at first I thought maybe it'll, it'll change only if I use it, but no, it, it rotates like periodically. After you defeat it, um, the frozen lake will crack open and you, you're going to go down. And that's where the ice icicle is that you need to break. Right there. See that block of ice? Yeah. So there's a course right there. You can just go break it. I like to switch my party to Fujio. Because I am the Geo dude. I main Geos, guys. I main Geos. One, the one, other one right here. And then the other one is behind it. And then the next one, um, you're going to need two Sealies to unlock because it's behind a gate. So the first Sealie is right there, right above the icicle. Just climb it, get that Sealie. You're going to follow it. Uh, I'll show you the path so you don't get lost. <laughs> And the next one is actually an ice. So you see the ice block, the ice right next to it, right there. Just melt that and then follow that sealy. Oh no, I forgot where it is. Dude, sometimes these ice are so hard to climb. I don't know where the Sealy's going, just going in circles. That's the exit. After you break the ice, that thing will open. Just FYI. Pretty much it's going to teleport after this. So we can go straight into the needy greedy. Alright, so that's the, that's the second Sealy. Open the gate. You see the course. There's two chests. Uh, you go break it and just bring it over. I don't think I need to show you this. So. All this. All right, so now you want to I do this already. I'm going to skip ahead. So now you want to go back to the statue. You're gonna, well, you want to go back to the statue of seven. And it'll tell you to investigate. And then at this point, you're like, oh man, it's not, it's open now. So yeah, follow the path. Uh, be careful, those things are annoying. I just try to skip it. There is a Sealy up here. 
Um, let's see. Yeah, this is Sealy. After you destroy these mobs, you follow the Sealy, it will lead you and follow. It will, it will lead you to these wind fairies. So make sure you pick those up along the way. There's one, two, three, and then now Air of Gust, you get up there. Keep following the Sealy, just keep following it. And you get to this nail. Frost, Sky Frost Nail. Now, now, you have to break three more rocks. <laughs> But my suggestion is to climb, climb to the top first, just so you can get rid of everything along the way. Um, but of course, you don't have to. I'll just show you where the rocks are at. But um, I, I, I pretty much just went all the way to the top first. But there's the first waypoint. Get that first. Make sure you get that. I'm going to have to destroy it. There's three of these uh, icicle shooting machines. They're very flimsy though. They die pretty quick. But yeah, just get up there. So this is where the first quartz is at after you destroy them. Right here. I kind of went over a little bit too far. But yeah, you killed the third one and then that's where the quartz is at. Right there by that golem. Alright, the second one, you have to get up here. There are some torches along the way. One torch right there, there's ice, you need to break it, you can use those rocks. Alright, and then if you keep going, just follow the path. Hold on, I think it was a little confusing there. Go forward here. So after you get this torch, you go there, get the other torch, and then from there, that just pretty much if you go straight. I my my cutting is a little bad here. Uh, got this. I'm climb again, just make sure you get this. So you get this torch, right, and then you go straight down, follow the path, there's another torch right here, there's a battle right here, beat up this yeti, um, there's some tor- you have to beat it down, because you won't be able to get, get to a heat source unless you beat it, so quickly beat it as fast as you can, there's a course right there, right next to the yeti. Now if you follow the Sealy, it'll bring you to the third one. And I'll show you how to activate uh, from the quartz onto the, the platform later. But if you get up, follow the Sealy, it will lead you to the third quartz that you need. Each of the crystals only need one hit. So you bring a wind, switch to a wind animal, I guess follow the gusts, go through the rings. That's where the quartz is at, right there. Notice right there on the left. All right, so I'm gonna show you from where, from the top down. So I got that. I just jumped off. You see that crystal right there? I went for it. They only need one hit. They're already damaged. Activate it after you break it. Make sure you do that. Hit F to start. And yeah, I go get the second rock. Right, remember the second rock. There's something weird about it though. I got the second rock. Right? And then I climbed. To get that rock down there. But I think this rock was supposed to be made for the bottom one. So instead, after breaking that, it respawned back at that second rock. But yeah, this is where the first rock was. I guess I, I kind of cheesed it. And then it just respawned the second one. But yeah, those are the rock locations. And that should take you... After you complete it, it would combine, and then the, the nail will get lifted off, and then the dungeon will be down below. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. My social links down below. You can put in the comments. I'll try my best to answer. There's two chests here. Make sure you get it. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, I stayed up pretty late for this. Like 4 a.m. And with that, later days. Boom. Unlocked. Like, comment, and subscribe.